In this video, we will write unit test for a Windows form in Csharp.net 4.7. We will create a Windows form application which accepts a string and perform the below functions. Next, we will write unit test case for the same. First, count the number of words. Second, count the number of uppercase letters. Third, count the number of lowercase letters. Fourth, number of space between words. Five, most frequent letter count. The form window will look similar to the one displayed here. So let's get started. Open Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 or 23, whichever version you have. Click on create a new project. Search for Windows Form. Select the one which has Windows Form app by Csharp.net framework. Click Next. Provide a name, I will give. Make sure the framework is 4.7.2. Click Create. This creates a simple Windows form in Csharp.net 4.7.2. I have a form window and I have my project here. I will be adding few dependencies for my unit test. So first of all, I will create my unit test class. Right click, add class. I will give the name string test and click add. This new class we will use for our unit test. Next, the project needs few test dependencies. So we will select project click manage NuGet packages. We are using an unit to do our testing. So we'll select browse and type an unit. Uh, install an unit. Next install an unit three test adapter. Next search for test. We also need to install Microsoft.NET Test SDK. Click Accept. It installs code coverage also. So to write a unit test, we're going to have these four dependencies. One is an unit, an unit 3 test adapter, Microsoft.NET Test SDK, and Microsoft code coverage. We can close this window. So now my program is completely set up. We have a form where we will be having our complete application layout. We have a test class where we will write all our test cases. Let's design our Windows form. So I will select view, toolbox. First, I need a text box. I select text box and I have it on the form. Next, I need a label. Let's style the label. The text box, we will make it big as per the screen. We will make multi line true. So this will enable us to make our text box multi-line and a bit bigger. Next, I need three buttons. The name of the button is summarize. I will name the button as Next, we'll have a button to 
clear next we will have a button for exit Next step, we will have our string messages. First, I'm going to add number of words. I will add one more label here where it can be displayed. I will add a border just to make it visible. The text property of the label I will set to zero and I will add a border to the label. Perfect. So now I have a basic layout for one of the methods where we can calculate number of words. This is an end to end application. Unit test is not about testing the whole application. Unit test is about testing the modules so let's create now my application and write the unit test let's start with exit so double click we can write close this will exit my application next we write for clear so here will be we need to clear the data on the text box so i can say text one text box one dot text equal to string dot empty so this takes care for our clear button now we come for summarize the first task what it is there when i enter a string the summarize should give me the number of words let's create the module to count the number of string so i will write public string number of word and i will give string text so the technique i am using to count is I'm going to split this text based on white space and then I will be having an array of strings and I will count the number of elements in that so string words equal to text dot split so now based on white space my words will be now, based on white space, we will get all the words and now I'm going to count them. Return words dot length since it's an integer and my return type is string. So I will add to string. So this module 
will now uh, give me the count of all the words in this string. Let's test this module. So we already have string test. First, we need to import our n unit. Next, we will add annotation here test fixture. Next, we will add annotation here test and write my first test case. This is a test to parse. So we need some input on which we can test. So I will write this is my input. Next, we're gonna, what will be my expected output? My expected output should be one, two, three, four, five. So I will write Notice we are keeping it as string because our program returns me a string. Now let's do the calculation. So the module is in form one. So I will use create an object of that form. Next, I will write string actual. It will be coming from the test case. So I will write form number of word and I'm going to pass my text. So actual has the actual value because once this method is called it will do the processing and give me the actual value. Next we will run asset r equal. So notice we are not doing system testing integration testing. We are doing only unit testing. Unit testing is all about testing the modules. So my, this method, this method is taking an input and it gives me the length of the input. So we wrote now one unit test case where we take our input, we did the execution and we are matching with my expected. My expected is five because one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if my test case pass or fail. First, we will go ahead and click build. We click build solution to check there is no errors. So there is no errors. We'll click on test and choose test explorer. You can see here my test case is already here. So let's you can see that my test case is already here. We click on play. And if everything is right, we should see a pass or fail. So you can see the test case has pass. So my module, this was a test to pass test case. My method was executed successfully. Let's implement this method for our application. Now we can just call this method for the click event and we should be able to see the string on my application. So first get the input. Text box one dot text. Next step will be what? I gave it name label three dot 
text equal to number of word and I'm going to pass text. So this is, do you see, once I click the button, I took the input from the text box, did the processing and display back it on label three. So if everything is okay, we should be able to see our program working. Okay, so let's write some text here. If we are right, this should give us four. So did you see it calculate and provide four. Now, this is just one test case and it is a test to pass. You have to write test to fail and you have to write multiple test case based on your test data domain. So as you see, we wrote one case for our number of words. Similarly, you can write a method for uppercase, one method for lowercase, one method for space between, and one method for most frequent letter count. There will be test to pass and test to fail. This gives you a brief introduction how to write test case for Windows form application. Thank you for watching.